we've got the monkey that is on the nail, just the face. It's kind of a dark design, and so it almost, you won't even necessarily notice the mandrel there unless you really looked and you saw it. And then he stands out, and he's got these really piercing eyes that are metallic gold. He's got the classic like yellow beard, the little bit of blue and red on the nose. So cool. I think these are one of the most interesting looking animals on the planet. I've painted them a bunch of times. I have a painting tutorial on my art channel and I can put a link to that in the description box below if you're interested or if you just love mandrels like I do. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. Bye! So we are going to start out with a marbled background of a couple different shades of green and black. And for this, you could basically do a single color if you wanted to. Like I said, this whole design is kind of dark with just this mandrel that's um, sort of peeking out from the middle of it. And it's not super noticeable that he's there. If you did want him to be more noticeable, you probably would want to do a more neutral background instead of having him be somewhat camouflaged. But once you have whatever background you choose completed, then you're going to encapsulate it with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that this nail is nice and strong. And once you have that layer done, then you're going to go through and we're going to file the nail into shape with our e-file or hand file or buff it or whatever it is your system that you like to do go ahead and do that so now with straight up black acrylic i'm going to just start out and figure out where i want the top of his head to be lay that acrylic down and then feather out the edge of it with the tip of my brush once you have that done, we're just going to kind of bring that black color down. It's most of the part in the middle there is going to get covered up, but it's just nice to have a blank canvas or a black canvas in this particular circumstance. Just a nice, smooth, fresh, clean space to work on. So once you have that done, you can go and start trying to fill in some of the colors. I'm going to frame his face with a little bit of a brown shade of acrylic. And most of these colors of acrylic are from Double Dip and any of them that are from Double Dip, I will put um, the color names in the description box below. So if there's a certain color that you really like that you see, you can definitely check that. Otherwise, if you ask me about that in the description box below, I do know what they are. Otherwise, there's a few that are from Koopa instead. And I can um, give you the color names of those if you're interested. Otherwise, we're going to just add a little touch of yellow right above our, our mandrel's brow bone and then with black acrylic sculpt in that brow bone then still using black it's so hard to see in the video because we're doing black on black you're going to need to sculpt the mouth area so like the upper lip and the chin and the lips just kind of use the tip of your brush to carve in add the tiniest hint of red on the lower lip barely noticeable especially not on the video but it's just this like slight pinkish red glow right across the lips and then this is the fun part because everything has been so dark and so um just kind of almost muddy looking you know you don't really see the details until we add in this beautiful blue cheek so do one cheek at a time once you have the first one done go ahead and add in the second one the reason you don't want to try to do them both at the same time with one bead and sort of split it up is you want it to be, you want to have that nice groove down the very middle of the face. That's where the nose, like the bridge of the nose down to the very tip of the nose is going to rest. And because that is a very different color, it's bright red, you just want to make sure that you have enough space for it to be there. Now that we have that space laid out for it, go ahead and add that bright red down the middle. Use the tip of your brush to really clean up the sides of the face where those blue cheeks are because the red inevitably will add a little bit of a staining. If you have a very wet brush that's filled with monomer, it should clean that right up. So if you're worried about it staining, that can help you. Otherwise, if you know you try to clean it up with just monomer in your acrylic brush and it doesn't work, say it's already too cured or for whatever reason your pigment is a little extra a little extra stain prone, <laughs> then you can always go through later and either take like the, the corner of a buffer block and buff off that staining, which is somewhat tedious and may or may not actually get into all the grooves. Or this is probably the better option, just paint over the blue if you can't get rid of the staining. If you can't get rid of the staining, that's obviously best case scenario. But you know, there's always alternatives if push comes to shove gonna add a little bit more yellow to the chin across the sides of the nose I did actually go in with a secondary shade of red a darker closer to a burgundy shade I'm going to add in the eyes with a brown even though later I did paint over them with an actual metallic gold just having that brown base is kind of a nice thing to start out with touch a blue across the brow bone basically look at a bunch of pictures of of mandrels because they're so unique they have so many different facial features and their face shape is so different from any other primate it's obviously primate but it's just it's longer and it's got these extra features to it make sure that you familiar familiarize yourself with how they look before going through and painting one or sculpting one in this circumstance just because they're so so beautiful and so weird <laughs> that you want to make sure you know what you're know what you're looking for when you go to start doing it
With acrylic paint now, I'm going to start filling in all those finer details that I hadn't done before. Anything that I didn't sculpt in. I'm going to add in, because the little cheeks are almost pleated, they've got like this pillowy pleats that go through. So you wanna make sure you just kind of draw those in with acrylic paint. If you're sculpting this mandrel on a larger scale, like some of the other um, extreme realistic animals I've done, like for instance, the hippo that I did or the giraffe that I did. And I can put links to those past um, extreme realistic animals in the description box below. But that was a larger, a much larger, you know, version of the animal across the nail. Whereas this one is really pretty tiny. And if you were going to do it on that bigger scale, even if it's still on a fingernail, then you would have the opportunity to sculpt in a little bit more of those details. And it would be so much fun. And he would end up looking absolutely fantastic if that was kind of the style you were going for. One thing that I do like to do on my channel is have a nice balance between like super realism and over the top craziness and then things that are maybe a little bit more toned down and wearable. That way, if you're trying to, you know, come up with something amazing to do on your own nails and you want it to be wearable, you can probably take techniques that you can see from a design like this one that's really extreme, really cool, realistic animal wearable and apply it to an animal that I did that wasn't as wearable or to whatever animal it is that you want to do. I'm going to give my mandrel some highlights here and there. Their fur is ticked. The actual strands of hair are striped, so they end up with this almost spotted pattern across their head. Very cool. Like I said, super cool animal. Add some long white whiskers. I'm going to apply some gel sealer over the background. And then after that's cured, some matte top coat over Sir Mandrel. And then this is done. And he is so cool. Like I said, he kind of blends into the background. But then once you see him, he just stands out. And he has this really, I don't know, commanding presence. I think they just do. Like I said, I love these guys. So I hope you guys like them as much as I do. And I will see you next time. Bye.